Good morning. This is a continuation of our lecture, the third part of the uh, describing agriculture. First, we describe it as a science, and then we will continue with it as a science, you know, and uh, we will follow it with agriculture as an industry, and then later is a profession. So let me continue. We have discussed about soils uh, as a science, crops as a science, water, uh, livestock. Then we still have another very important uh, factors in uh, agriculture. We call it agricultural engineering. So agricultural engineering includes appropriate areas of mechanical, electrical, environmental, and civil engineering construction technology, hydraulics, and soil mechanics. So it involves research in energy use, you know, fluid power, machinery development, laser and microprocessor control, or maintaining grain quality and farm structures expected to result in further gains in the efficiency with which food and fiber are produced and processed. Agricultural operations, soil conservation and preparation, crop cultivation and harvesting, animal production and commodities transportation, processing, packaging and storage are precision operations involving large tonnages, heavy power and critical factors of time and place. Facilities designed to aid farm operations help farm workers to minimize the time and energy requirements of routine jobs. So ito ay, uh, uh, itong mga proseso na ito, pinapag-aralan to sa agricultural engineering. In fact, here in the university, we have uh, a degree or course for agricultural engineering. Next, we have the agricultural economics where it, this is one of my... Uh, line. Ito yung aking actually, this is my BS, you know, agriculture, major in agricultural economics. You know. This is the field of agricultural economics, which includes agricultural finance, paano mo popondohan yan, policy, marketing, farm and agribusiness management, rural sociology, agricultural law, yeah, may subject na actually tayo ng agricultural law. The idea that the individual farm enterprise form a unit affected by location, production, techniques, and market factors. Uh, agricultural economics was later supplemented by the theory of optimum utilization. Paano mo uh, mamamaximize yung gamit ng isang, uh, let's say, uh, resources mo, lupa, no? of production factors by the selection of production lines. Further refinement came in through, uh, about through application of modern accounting methods. So ito ay uh, merong talagang science na nakukumpute uh, kung paano mo mamamaximize ang iyong profit or the use of your resources. Then we have some emerging agricultural sciences. Ito yung mga bagong uh, technology na Hindi siya present uh, some years back. Ano? The agricultural sciences are poised to enter a new era armed with ever more sophisticated research technologies such as monoclonal antibodies no? and gene splicing in their continuing drive to better harness nature for the ultimate benefit of human beings everywhere. Now, we are on the hard science of actually we are now engineering uh, itong mga parte na ito ng either halaman or ng animal no uh, gene you know? uh, i'm not very uh, i'm not an expert here but uh, ito ngayon ang ating pinagtutuunan ng pansin doon sa ating emerging technologies because we are now seeing uh, different type of crops na ginamitan ito like 
GM product. Ano ba yung GM product? These are genetically modified products. Genetic engineering has proved useful as a novel tool in agricultural science. Genetically modified or GM foods were first approved for human consumption in the United States in 1994 and by 2014 and to 2015, about 90 percent of corn, cotton, and soybeans planted in the United States are GM. The genetic engineering of crops can dramatically increase per area crop yields and in some cases reduce the use of chemical insecticides. So, and dami ng mga GM products. Dito sa Pilipinas, corn meron na tayo dyan. In, in fact, uh, recently, ito, kasunod natin, even rice. So, paano natin ba, na, paano natin maiintindihan itong mga GM products na ito? Like this one, this bacterium or BT, Bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis or BT. No? So, kaya meron tayong BT corn. The application of wide spectrum insecticides has declined in many areas growing plants now. Uh, iniiwasan kasi yung too much uh, dependence on insecticides. That's why uh, naisip ito, tinesting kung saan yung mismong halaman, yung corn, kapag kinain itong mga insekto na to, uh, mamamatay na sila. So that becomes poison for them. So growing plants such as potatoes, cotton and corn that were endowed with a gene binigyan ng in-splice ano from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis no so ito yung Bacillus thuringiensis in insert doon sa gene o oh, DNA ng corn no crop is infected by european corn borer uh, yan kasi yung may experience mo kapag ka buo pa yung years ng corn, pagbukas mo, ang dami ng damage, may mga uud na sa loob. So, the engineers, ipinasok itong Bacillus thuringiensis, in-split siya, inilagay sa DNA, and then test dies when feeding on any plant part, kahit anong kainin niya dyan sa parte ng, ng uh, corn na yan, mamamatay itong pest na ito. So, itong BT, or Bacillus thuringiensis, which produces a natural insecticide called BT toxin. However, some insect pests have gained resistance. Ayan. Para din virus, ano, nagkakaroon ng resistance to the toxin. And synthetic pesticides are needed to supplement the BT crops in some places. So, na, ano rin, nag-adjust din kaagad ng mga insekto. Kaya, kinakailangan kombinasyonan mo pa rin siya pala ng mga synthetic pesticides. Now comes the golden rice. Some food crops have been engineered to increase their nutri uh, nutritional quality such as golden rice, which was genetically modified to produce almost 20 times, no? 20 times the beta carotene of previous varieties. So mataas dito yung, kaya, kaya sa kulay nila, kasi kailangan ng tao ng beta carotene. No? nasa karot. Parang star margarine rice na yan. Yan, talagang yellow. So, paano ginagawa? Um, merong uh, unang step, the genes that give golden rice its ability to make beta-carotene in its endosperm. Um, the interior of the kernel come from dapodil. So this is uh, some kind of a plant. Parang, ano yan, medyo bumubulaklak pa nga siya, eh, no? A bacterium called Erwinia uh, uredobora. Yan. Merong bacterium na ganoon. Tapos, itong Erwinia bacteria, this genes along with promoter segment of DNA that activates genes are inserted na naman, inilagay na naman doon sa DNA that occurs inside a species of bacterium known as agrobacterium tumefaciens. Okay? In insert. How I could not explain it uh, entirely because uh, itong mga 
trabaho ito ng mga scientists. You know, we could just imagine and paano nila ginagawa ito. Uh, and then, this agrobacteria are then added to a petri dish. Oh, yung petri dish na intindihan ko na yan. Yan ay parang uh, clear na bilog na parang platito. No? A petri dish containing rice embryo. As they infect okay, the embryos, they also transfer the genes that encode the instruction of for making beta carotene. So yun, naka, nahawahan siya noong genes na yun, noong bacteria. Kaya ito ngayon si Rice ay uh, meron na siyang capacity ngayon. The transgenic, oh, transgenic rice plants must now be crossed Okay, ito cross pa ulit, with strains of rice that are grown locally, so kung sa Pilipinas itong nabubuhay sa atin, and are suited to a particular region's climate and growing condition. So ngayon, meron ka ng pro-vitamin A producing rice embryo kasi yung beta-carotene is rich in uh, vitamin A. Yung kailangan. So ayan, cross siya, and then after so many series of experimentation and procedures, they were able to produce uh, ito ng variety na ito ng uh, golden rice. Of course, you will be hearing some uh, group of people na nagpo-protesta rito at sinasabi nilang masyadong mataas ang production cost niyan and maintenance and then siyempre mahalang binhi niyan. Baka daw uh, mangyari yung mga mahihirap na farmer ay uh, hindi maka-afford nito uh, at saka makawala yung ating traditional one. So maraming issue dyan. Alam nyo naman, siyempre, uh, sa mga nag-innovate, uh, eh, yan ang kanilang mga dapat na paghandaan. Because eventually, they're going to sell it to farmers, ito mga buto na ito. So, there is an overwhelming support for golden rice received according to IRI. But, sabi nung iba, yan, talagang may mga hindi pa rin makapaniwala. Stop golden rice now and defend our rice. Fight for our rights. No? Alamin nyo na lang bakit mm, gagalit ang mga small farmers, mga group. They, they have reasons. No? Ayaw nila yung mga GMO. No? no to GMO. Stop golden rice. Defend farmers' rights. So, sabi lang, baka maka-apekto ito sa livelihood ng mga small farmers. Now, let's go to agriculture naman as an industry. So, we have uh, uh, previously discussed yung agricultural science. But, tingnan naman natin yun itong agriculture as an industry. Anong mga nagagawa nito? So, ito naman, alam na natin, basically, provision of food. So, corn, rice, Root crops, milk, etc. Meat, of course. These are foods provided by the agricultural sector. No? Clothing. Uh, there are clothing na galing sa yan, tulad ng wool, no? silk, and leather. At ito yung mga mahal. In fact, meron pang uh, we have cotton, linen. Ang linen, eh, bulaklak yan. Uh, namumulaklak ang puno, I mean, yan. Then, you can have bamboo. So provision also of materials for shelter and furniture. Example is wood. No? For our tables and chairs, cabinet, etc. Provision of income. So ito na yung hanap buhay na marami. Now, let's talk about uh, employment. Agriculture and other agro-based industries employ farmers, farm workers, and other people who engage in agricultural finance and marketing. Oh, ayan. Kayo uh, pag nakagraduate would have very good opportunity or uh, chance to land either one of these uh, career or professions. You know? So We love agriculture. Number six, importance is that, of course, it provides raw materials for industries. Sa food industry, feed industry, uh, basically those are uh, dependent, of course, on agriculture produce. Of course, they are source of foreign exchange if we are sending our commodities abroad. Pag tayo export. Of course, number eight, 
is provision of a market for industrial goods, uh, finished products from agro-allied industries such as fertilizers, pesticide, herbicide, agro-pharmaceutical drugs, farm tools, machines, as well as storage and processing facilities are used in the agricultural sector. So ito yung uh, the other part na, na mga sumusuporta sa agriculture ay nagpo-provide din tayo ng economic uh, importance dito. Market, of course, for them. Number nine is the development of rural areas. Alam naman natin na uh, nasa rural areas ang agriculture it brings about development in rural areas as social amenities such as good roads, electricity, pipe-borne water, may tubo na ng tubig, schools and hospitals are provided where commercial agriculture exists. Or exist. Number 10, provision of facilities for recreation and tourism. Agriculture leads to the establishment of game reserves, yung mga nagahunting. It also provides horse for horse racing and polo. Oh, uh, dito sa Kabsu, pag nakabalik na kayo, magugulat kayo, pasyalan nyo yung ating agri-eco-tourism. I have a video pag nayari ko na, pag-post ko rin. Now, let us go to the major division of agriculture. Of course, uh, parang subject, maraming subject ang agriculture. So, there are division of agriculture. When um, uh, kayo napili siguro ngayon, hindi pa buo loob nyo kung anong saan kayo mag specialize Either go for BSA, agricultural entrepreneurship, probably uh, somewhere else, you know. But uh, these are the major divisions. Number one is animal husbandry or animal production. Animal science ensures efficient and effective management of farm animals and it ensures better animal productivity. Veterinary medicine and animal health. Sa college, uh, merong college talaga tayo ng vet med. No? Veterinary medicine provides better health management for farm animals. It ensures the control of pests and parasites and diseases of farm animals. Uh, masyadong in-demand ngayon ang mga, ano, mga vet med. No? In fact, uh, walang mag-apply na. Ano, eh. uh, merong kinukuhang vet med ng school pero pag kinumpara kasi yung sweldo na ino-offer ng government sa university versus yung sweldo nila outside if they... Uh, are in the private. Nako, mas malaki ang sweldo na nasa private. Kaya hirap-hirap kami maghanap ng ano, vet med until now. Soil science uh, ensures the maintenance of uh, soil fertility, better soil classification, and mapping. It also helps in erosion control, soil moisture conservation, and application of appropriate fertilizer for different soil types. Crop production and crop science. Crop production helps in effective crop management practices, development of better planting materials, correct crop spacing, and others. No? The aspect of crop production include agronomy, crop pathology, and entomology. Now here comes the agricultural economics and farm management. It ensures the effective management of agricultural resources, promotes agricultural marketing, and good farm accounting. Number six, agricultural engineering. It promotes the mechanization of farm operations, development of processing and storage equipment, and also maintenance of farm tools and equipment. Another is forestry and wildlife conservation. It promotes the conservation of forest products, wildlife, and also the creation of microclimate. Iba yung KPNR. College of Agriculture, Food, Environment, and Natural Resources. Yan, kaya kasama yung forestry and wildlife conservation. Agricultural extension and education. It promotes the training and dissemination of agricultural information. So ito yung mga nagtuturo sa mga uh, communities regarding agriculture, agricultural extension, or agricultural extensionism ang tawag natin dyan. 
fishery. It promotes the production of fish, its management, processing, and other fishing practices. In case you don't know, we have a college of fishery doon sa ating Naik Campus, no? sa Naik Cavite. Now, ito naman yung mga professions. Pagka imagine niya, graduate na kayo, these are the profession ab available uh, in agriculture. Uh, bilisan ko lang. Sales rep, yan pwede. No? Forest products, processing manager, no? farm labor specialist, forest ecosystem manager, I'll just read. Ano pa? E-commerce specialist, no? financial analyst, sa farm to, pwede. No? Agricultural economist, Agricultural Loan Officer, pwede kayong uh, determine kung pwede pautangin itong farm. Marketing Specialist at kailangan-kailangan yan para ma-market na maganda ang mga product. No? Grain Merchandiser, Food Scientist, Veterinarians, Biological Engineer, Environmental Scientist, Insect Biologist. Ano? Kung gusto nyo mag- uh, in, Engage sa mga insekto lang o pwede mga bees. No? Plant scientist, watershed scientist, irrigation engineer, animal scientist, agronomist, horticulturist. Ano ba itong mga horticulturist na ito? Fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Yan. Farmer or rancher, poultry production manager. Ang ah, dami natin mga graduate ng CABSU uh, na andito sa profession ito. Range manager, precision agricultural specialist, fruit and vegetable grower. Meron talaga mga ano lang, ha? fruits lang ang gusto. At, uh, yan. Uh, ang ganda ng ano nila, ang, uh, kanilang market dyan. Forest manager, crop management consultant, organic crops grower, swine production manager, aquaculturist, high school agri-science teacher. Yan. O talagang marami naghahanap na mga school sa magtuturo ng agriculture as early as high school. Agricultural and natural resource communications, rural development specialist, plant and animal inspector, outdoor recreation manager, Agricultural Extension Educator, Farm Service Agent, Food and Agricultural Science Editor. Yan, mahilig kayo magsulat, no? mag-post, uh, mag-gawa ano, mag, uh, kayo ng mga articles, no? sa, of course, uh, publication. No? Natural Resources Conservation, isa sa mga naalaala kong uh, agricultural uh, ano, eh, editor si... Saksar yan, kailan namatay na. No? Ang isa namang uh, ang programa, bata pa ako, ay ito na yung uh, si ka Jerry Hieronimo. No? Hanggang ngayon, uh, wala na siya sa TV pero nag, uh, nasa, ano na siya, meron na siyang sariling channel sa internet. No? So, Natural Resources Conservation Specialist and some other, uh, pwede niyong pasukin, even mga mekaniko ng, ano, ng mga farm implements, tools, etc. So, uh, that practically describes uh, in, in general what is agriculture. So, maraming pwede kayong career na maisip puntahan in agriculture. So, as early as uh, ngayon, first year kayo, uh, mag, ano kayo, mag uh, tingnan nyo, i-research nyo, what is your, what is your dream, what is your uh, what you want to be, no? Pwede nyo yung ma, ano, ma abot, no? Uh, I was uh, totally watching documentaries, ano? Uh, merong mga talagang tao na they enjoy going sa mga kaloob-looban na mga forest and looking for uh, rare insects, ano? Uh, yung iba naman, ahas ang tinitingnan. No? Herpetologist, some are different types of uh, uh, 
rare species of plants na wala pang nakakadiskubre. Ito yung mga uh, talagang dreams nila, no? Pwede nin, pwedeng kayo rin, no? As uh, uh, malalaman niyo kung ano ang inyong gusto sa buhay, uh, pagdating sa agriculture, kung kayo naman mahilig magsulat, uh, mag-travel, and then uh, inyong lagyan ng istorya, itong mga development in agriculture, you can be what you want to be uh, as long as now you understand what is in it in agriculture. So, I would like to uh, uh, finish with that uh, itong ating uh, lessons na ito. Next lesson would be more on the the ecology, the uh, the other side of uh, agriculture in relation to uh, other living living plants, uh, living things around it. So uh, this will finish our lecture for today. Thank you very much for listening.